Midwest Voice Translator works on simple phrases. Gee, did you eat? Complex phrases. So wearing my blaze orange up top, my camel down below. I am wearing my church clothes. Compound sentences. Guy says to me, you want a Bud Light? I says, ah, I might as well sweep from the bubbler. You know, it's a horse apiece. A man asked me if I wanted a Bud Light. I told him I might as well drink from the water fountain. It's the same thing. And even profanity. <sighs> ah, jeepers, cripes, old Friday. <laughs> 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 well, we love Charlie Barron's for his Manitowoc Minute Clips and his videos with a funny take on life in Wisconsin and the Midwest have had many millions of views. And Charlie now has a new book out. It's called The Midwest Survival Guide, How We Talk, Love, Work, Drink, and Eat Everything with Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Midwest thing, the ranch dressing? God, I just assumed everybody was dousing everything with ranch. You, you know, I, I that's what I thought too, but then I, I ventured a little bit outside and I noticed that I was getting some weird looks, you know, when the wine lady would would come and say, you know, what would you like for your for your vintage tonight? And I asked for uh, Hidden Valley. <laughs> you know, you know a weird look. So, uh, yeah. By the way, I have to say this is the second time I've been on with you and the video you showed before, I'm pretty much wearing the exact same shirt I was wearing in that video. So I still haven't gotten new shirts, but I am working on that. Well, that's, uh, a, I, that's I part of your book, isn't it? Uh, fl flannels, uh, you talk about flannels and I'm assuming they last a while. They, they last so long that, that, yeah, that you only need like one or two and I actually only have one, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you know, we're going for, uh, for, um, you know, that, that chic look, that Northwoods chic. Yeah. And uh, you can kind of smell it uh, as you see. It. You can already tell what I smell like. Like a closet in a Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> now, I noticed you, uh, you have some insight about bar crawls, which we used to do back in the 90s when we were younger, but you're still doing them. Uh, what, what do we need to know? Yeah, no, I was doing back in the 90s when I was younger, too. And uh, the thing that I think you got to know about uh, a bar crawl is really the best bar crawls are associated with the church potluck. Wow. Okay, so you, you, you get there yeah. and you've already taken care of your purgatory time. OK, because yeah. you're at the fundraiser. Right. And then, you know, you, you give a little, take a little. Then you can go out and add a few more years on your sentence. Uh -huh. Grandma can say a few rosaries and you're out of there uh, quicker. You know, <laughs> this, this is the math around that. Yeah. Now, I didn't realize in this book you're also giving dating advice. Is it specific to the Midwest? What kind of tips do you have? Yeah, you know, and I'm glad you brought this up because uh, anytime, um, you know, you want to say you, I love you uh, to a person in the Midwest, we all know Midwesterners lack the emotional capacity to say those three magic words. So I recommend you say three other magic words, and that's watch for deer. <laughs> and this time of year, that's very important because, uh, you know, you're driving around, they're rotten. Them <laughs> deer are... I, I don't know if I can say the horny word on air, but that's the biological uh, truth of it. You know, they're a polygamous species and they're running around with one thing on their mind and that's, you know, procreation. Yeah. And uh, you have to watch out for them. Have I doubled down on this deer thing enough? Uh, I can keep going. <laughs> well, I've watched a lot of Nat Geo. <laughs> if you care about someone, you don't want them to, right. get, yeah, that's yeah. a very nice thing to say. Yeah. What about Midwestern casseroles? Are there any unusual things that uh, you're putting up there that we might not consider? Mm, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, so first of all, there's there's this long-standing debate in the Midwest. Do we call it casserole? Do we call it hot dish? They're actually two different concoctions. Uh -huh. um, and uh, I really don't know the difference of it, to be honest with you. Even though I wrote the differences down, I've already <laughs> forgotten it. Uh, but here's the deal. You can throw some, it, really, the starch you're putting on top is where the money's at. Are you uh -huh. going, are you a tater tots fella? Yeah. Or are you, you know, a cornflakes gal? Uh -huh. And whatever it is. <laughs> Yeah, corn wow. flakes are good. I will tell you that. Frosted flakes gets a little weird, but you know, Thursday's got to come around <laughs> once a week. So. so, are we? Every time we have you on, we have to talk about the Bears versus the Packers, and unfortunately, you're having a better year so far. But uh, yeah, 
Yeah. Man, nuts. Yeah. Oh, is that is that my setup there? That was I don't know what else to say. Activity. I don't really know why I brought it up because it makes me angry. You know, and, and I'm not I'm not going to rub it in. And I do want to let you know that in this uh, book, by the way, I I felt bad about the number of times I came on here and and discussed the Packers with the Chicago audience, and then I, I went back and I read my messages. And then I felt good about it again. But, uh, <laughs> but I will say I'm very, I'm very nice to Chicago in this book because Chicago is an amazing city, and Chicago cannot help the fact that the Bears have, um, you know, had a real complicated history over the years. And by complicated, I mean losing a lot. And and Chicago <laughs> can't help that. But Chicago's a great city, and I, I give it a, a nice write up. You'll be happy to know. You know? Excellent. Well, the book yeah. is The Midwest Survival Guide, How We Talk, Love, Work, Drink, and Eat Everything with Ranch. And you can find him on the socials and at ManitowocMinute.com. Thanks, Charlie. Charlie, good to see you again. All right, everyone, watch out for deer. All right. <laughs>